Hey guys, Dave Bags here, and today I'm going to give you guys my review of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And look, I know I'm a day late and a dollar short, but the bottom line is this. I wanted to give this game some time to marinate. I wanted to play it for a month. Oftentimes, so many YouTubers, they want to be the first out of the gate to give you guys a review. But to me, it's, it's premature. I wanted to play the maps over and over, use the weapons over and over, get a, get a better feel for everything in the game before I started to talk about it. And of course, things will change over time. I know that's gonna happen, that's gonna be the case when we get updates and things like that. But I wanna talk about the things that I like about the game and then kind of transi uh, transition into some of the things that I don't like. The first thing right away, when you load the game and get in, is the color palette. Now, Infinity Ward for a long time has always had those dark kind of grays and browns and olive colors to incorpor incorporate it in their maps. And that's what I like about those games, like Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. I don't know if you guys remember the map Sea Town. Uh, kind of reminds me of this Sumatra map that's in the uh, new Modern Warfare, but I like those dark colors that are in the game. Those 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 colors that when you when you're playing the game and you're in the maps, it actually makes you not want to be there. I mean, I know it's a game, but it's based on combat, so you know, generally speaking, combat's not a fun place to be. Um, and so I like that, that they, they kind of add that to the game, those nice dark colors and make it kind of dreary looking. Um, unlike a, a lot of uh, Treyarch games as of late, I mean, since Black Ops 2, Treyarch kind of went from the Black Ops 1, dark and dreary, to the Black Ops 2 and beyond. Just everything is colorful. Everything is colorful. And it just, to me, I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward Infinity Ward now. I really like when they come out with games. I just, I, they just, to me, they feel better. So yeah, the color palette's great. And the maps. Now let's talk about the maps. I like the maps. I like most of the maps. Um, I, I like the way they look. I like the way they feel. I like the fact that most of the maps don't just have those three lanes. Uh, they do, but there's a lot of places, uh, especially when you're playing Domination, there's a lot of places that you can kind of navigate from one side of the map to the other that you're not just running down an open you know, lane. You've got, you've got buildings you can run into, you've got buildings you can climb, roofs you can get up on top of, boards that you can run across on top of buildings, things like that. It makes it for a more urban kind of a feel, and and that's that's kind of reality. I mean, that's that's what I like about it. Uh, of course, a lot of people don't like that because of some of the things that I'm going to get into later when I talk about the things um, that I don't like. Um, but also um, the, the, the 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 character customizations and the weapon skins in this game, to me, I like. Okay, I like the fact that the character customizations in the game are basic. We're not we're not dealing with, um, you know, Treyarch's version of the character customization. You know, with the the pink gloves and the purple hats and the lipstick and the eyeshadow. Look, nothing against people that happen to go to um, gay pride parades. If that's your thing, that's fine. But when I'm playing Call of Duty, I, I just don't want my character to look like they're about ready to go to one of those uh, gay pride parades. I'm sorry. I want my guy to look like a soldier, not a, I don't know, a freaking daisy doodle. I, I just want my guy to look like a freaking soldier. Is it too hard to ask? So with Infinity Ward, they kind of kept things kind of dark, kind of simple, just not over, not overplaying it, which I hope they kind of stick to that. Let's hope they don't change. Um... And as far as the, the, the weapon skins, for the most part, I like the weapon skins. I like the fact that they're giving you Digicam, they're giving you old school camo, they're giving you urban camo, camo. they're giving you real camos that, that you would get, you know, that you've seen. Uh, there's a couple that I don't like. There's a couple that are mm, they're kind of borderlining. It's like, it's like Infinity Ward. Oh no, you're leaning a little bit to Treyarch. Not so much though, not so much though. So it's not too bad. But it's not over the top. I mean, if you remember Treyarch, especially in Black Ops 4, they, they had those morphing camos, those those movable, liquefied. I don't even know the name. I don't know what you call them. You know, it's just it's just it's silly. It just it's just I don't like it. I don't like it. I just want a real camo, something that looks like camo. Okay, and that's what I like about it. Now here's the big one. This is the big thing that I love about the game. I wanted to save it 
for last because I absolutely love this. And finally, 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 we have a game that we can pretty much customize our weapons almost endless. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but you can you can customize your weapon pretty much any way you see fit. If you're a running gunner, you like to run around, you can take the M4, for example, which is what I did, and I took the stock off, all right? And I, I put a I put a suppressor on it. I made it I made it for running and gunning, like for the map shoot house. I also made a version of the of, of the M4 where it's a little bit uh, for longer range and longer lines of sight, so I put a really good uh, stock on it. You know, I've got I've got the Ranger foregrip. You know, the whole so <laughs> The optics, you can change your optics. I think there's like 60 different optics you can put on these guns now. So there's a lot of things you can do, which I like because everybody's different. Everybody's different, everybody has a different play style. And so they finally gave it to us. They finally said, here, have fun. This is your candy, eat it. Here's a present, open it. This is good stuff. To me, this is what makes the game good. Okay, now here's the thing. This is something, I'm gonna give you guys a tip if you haven't already figured it out. When I first started playing the game, I, I grabbed the M4 and I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grind it out. I'm gonna play all the time with the M4. I'm gonna unlock optics. I'm gonna unlock this. I'm gonna unlock that. And I'm gonna keep unlocking all these different things so I can figure out exactly what I wanted on the gun. But as I started grinding, I started thinking to myself, man, why don't I just go into uh, a private match? Why don't I go into a private match and just Everything's already unlocked. Everything in a private match is unlocked, with the exception of the skins. And you can you can see if a gun is worth grinding. You can you can go in there and you can put any optic on, any 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 anything. Everything's unlocked. And so that's what I did. I went in there. I, I put all these different things on my weapon. Tried it out. I played against bots, just to kind of get a feel for the weapon. I know it's not realistic, but you know when you're playing live players, but you do get a feel for the weapon, the mechanics, the way it shoots, the recoil, the whole nine yards, how your character moves, if it's fast, if it's slow. And so I, that's my tip for you guys. If you guys are, if you unlock a weapon and you're contemplating on grinding it out, unless you like surprises, unless you just want to grind it out to grind it out, but I recommend go into private matches and then just kind of finagle with it, mess around with it, see if it's worth it. There's some guns, in my opinion, that are just not worth grinding out. So those are the things that I like about the game. Um, overall, I have fun playing the game. And to me, that's, that's all that matters. Now let's talk about the things that I don't like. And a lot of people have said the same thing. But um, I don't like the shotgun in the game. I don't like the riot shield. And there's a pistol in the game that I absolutely don't like. Um, I don't know what the pistol is. I live next to an Air Force base, so if you hear a plane flying overhead, that's what's happening. Um, the riot shield, for example. The riot shield is, is just an endless nuisance. People run around with these riot shields. I don't see it. I've never seen it. I was in the military. I've never seen anyone with a riot shield in my life. This is not Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, we're not police officers. The riot shield shouldn't even be in Call of Duty. They should have never even put it in to begin with. But it's, it's annoying. The shotgun. I'm sorry, but if I'm getting sniped by a shotgun in the map shoot house, there's a problem. And the pistol. If I'm getting shot halfway across the map with a pistol, there's a problem. Unless you're Jesse James, okay, you're not going to be able to do that. So they need to fix that. They need to fix it. Simple as that. They need to fix it, okay? And I can't believe that we as gamers have complained about this. We, we've, we've, we've talked about this to Infinity War, to Activision. I've tweeted about it. You know, I don't make a big deal out of it. You know, I deal with it. If I get killed by somebody with a sniper rifle, which happens to be a shotgun from halfway across the map, yeah, it's annoying. But it is what it is. You know, it's in the game. People paid for the game, just like I paid for the game. There's nothing I can do about it. Which leads me to campers. This is the thing that a lot of people don't like. This is the thing that I've seen in, in public forums, on Twitter, on Instagram, everywhere. Everybody's complaining about the camping that goes on in this game. Drifter, for example, is one of the things he, he complained about early on is the camping that goes on in the game. Look, 
let me let me draw a picture. Let me give you an analogy, okay? Maybe this you guys can relate to this. If you play on a sports team and you're playing a specific team, you've got to adjust your play style to get ready for that team. Okay, some teams they like to they like to run a lot. Some teams don't. Some teams hit the long ball, if we're referring to baseball. Some teams like to hit and run. Some teams don't. Whatever team you're playing, you've got to adjust your play style in accordance with what you're doing at that time. Whatever team you're playing, whatever opponent you have, that's the same thing in Call of Duty. Yeah, I know you don't like campers. I don't like campers. I'm not a big camper. I do it for fun on my channel because people are running around with shotguns and riot shields and pistols, so that's another story, but I'm, I don't generally camp when I play the game. So you adjust your play style, guys. Okay, so you, you, you're running into a building. Instead of just running blindly into the building, why don't just throw a, throw, throw, a, throw something in there, throw, throw a grenade in there, throw a flashbang in there, clear the room, clear the room. If you're going to complain about campers, th th then complain about the way you're playing, really. Because if they're hiding in a corner, hiding in a room, hiding in an alleyway, and you know this, then prepare for it. Prepare for it. You, you know that, that maps like Piccadilly, people like to hide on the outside of the map while everybody's kind of busy in the middle where the buses are. Go to the outside of the map. Pick up the, you know, pick off the campers. I mean, complaining about it. Camping's been in the game since the beginning of Call of Duty. It, it is what it is. That's, that's how people, that's what they do. It's not something people create, that's not what the developers created in the game. It's, it's a play style, it's a habit, it's what people do. It's, it is what it is. Unless you want Treyarch and Infinity Ward to come out with these big open maps with nothing in the middle, no trees, no buildings, nothing, and, 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 and both spawns can see each other so nobody can camp, then there's gonna be camping. When you put objects between the two spawn sections and you put players on both sides and you're trying to fight each other, people are going to camp. Look, I don't like it either, but but I also don't like quick scopers. I don't like drop shooters. I don't like jump, uh, jump shooters. I don't like people picking me off from 5,000 yards with a pistol or sniping me with, with a shotgun. I mean, it is what it is. We all paid for the game. I mean, I know you guys don't like Euphrates Bridge, but look, it, it's there. Adjust your play style. I'm not a big fan, but I adjust my play style, man. And that's what you got to do. Instead of complaining about it, just adjust. Deal with it. That's just the way the way it is. And oh, here's my favorite one. This is not really so much about the game. It's about the community's reaction to the game. Every year, you guys always use the famous word, broken. What, the, what, what, is, what does broken mean? It means that, oh, I don't know, if I take my arm and I hit it with a sledgehammer and it breaks, that I can't use my arm anymore until it gets fixed. Or if the, the engine in my car completely just seizes up. The engine is broken. I can't drive it until I put a new engine in. The last time I checked, every single time I play Call of Duty, whether it's Call of Duty World War II, Black Ops 2, 3, 4, 1, whatever, this game, I can get into a game, I can get into a lobby, I can play the game, I can kill people, I can get killed, I can turn the console off and go on with my life. That doesn't sound broken to me. So some of you guys need to come, come, come up with a better word because the game isn't broken. Maybe you're playing, you're just not good, you're broken. You know, you, you're, you know, it, it's like a, it's like a golfer that blames his bad golf game on his clubs. So he goes out and buys these five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars set of, of Titleist uh, clubs, and, and he, and he thinks that he's gonna, he thinks he's gonna hit a sixty, and he ends up shooting a one ten, and he's like, oh, geez, you know, these clubs, they're, they're broken. The clubs are broken. No, your game is broken. You're not good. You, you're, you're terrible. You need more practice. You need more practice. If you think the game is broken, you need more practice. Or, or maybe you, ha or maybe the game kicks you out. Maybe it's your internet connection. Maybe it's your router. Maybe it's your modem. Maybe it's your little brother Johnny yanking the cord out. I don't know what it is. But generally speaking, if you turn the game on, get into a lobby. You've got a good connection, and your 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 NAT type is set to open. You're playing. It ain't broken. It works. It works good. 
it works good. Maybe it's just you kids, you know, you know, you, this generation of, of, of millennials. I mean, geez, you know, if, if everything is not perfectly running right, you know, they, 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 they bitch and complain about it. But that's just the way it is. Anyway, that is my review. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got a kick out of it. I hope you guys are entertained. I'm not like everybody else. I do what I do. I give you guys my review based on what I feel and not because I got to rush and get the video out there. I just do it at my leisure. And if you like it, cool. Make sure you subscribe. You know, I don't have that many. You know what I mean? Subscribe and, and hit that little, that little bell. Okay. It's called a notification thing, right? So if I come out with a video, boom, 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 you got it. You guys have a good one. All right. Take care. Bam.